Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be looking at the optional hose kit for the Sherpa Leaf Vacuum. So you've probably seen the first video where we unboxed the Sherpa Leaf Collector, ran the engine up, assembled everything together and we collected a few fake leaves off the workshop floor. If you didn't see it, there should be a link somewhere up the top and you can have a look at that. And then if you did see it, you'll notice that in the initial video, we had a few extras in there when we unboxed it. Namely, this baffle plate, this handle and the extension hose kit. So what we're going to explain today is how to use all of these things and how they go together. Now firstly, we'll have a look at the extension hose kit. This is great if you're going around vacuuming up leaves, you've done everything that you want to do on your lawn, your patio, etc. There's a few bits and pieces, maybe tucked up tight in corners, edge of the flower borders, some small guttering, low down drainage channels, etc. This will come in really handy for that and I'll show you how to attach it. So now then, we're going to fit the hose, but before we do that, we must fit the baffle plate. Because if we fit the hose, we won't get much draw through this end, we need to block off the main vacuum part. Now the baffle plate has got a lipped edge, both sides, and it fits into the grooves here at the front. With a bit of luck, it should go straight in, we'll see. That's it. Sits on the bottom there, and you just wiggle it along, and there you go, you heard it slot into place. Now it doesn't cut the air supply off 100% because if we ever block this up or you ran it with that in by mistake, you'd burn the engine out. So there's a little bit of room around there to let some through. Now secondly, we need to fit the hose. On the end of this hose are two clips and behind this flap here, there are two location points for those. So we open this, it's on a spring, so it's spring loaded, so it will always snap shut. So we pull that to one side, we get this and we locate top and bottom. Turn it round clockwise and there we are, locked in and so is the flap there. So how great is that? We've got, that, we've got the hose all connected up and we're ready to suck some leaves up. However, we haven't got much of a reach, so included in the box is this handy telescopic handle. So I'll put this on, there's a small pip on the top just to lock it in place. There we go, that's done, and then we just press the button and out it comes. There you go, easy peasy, suck leaves up from wherever you want, great bit of kit, really good. But that's not the best bit, the best bit is you can take this extension hose turn it round, fit it to the back of the machine and turn it into a blower. I'll show you how. The first thing to remember when we use this Sherpa Leaf Vacuum as a blower is to remove the baffle plate. We really need a good supply of air in through the front so you must make sure that this is removed. We'll put that to one side. Right. Now, secondly, we'll remove the bag. If you watch the assembly video, you'll know how to do this simple process just in reverse, unclip these two small clips on the side and then the bag should slide out once we've undone the top ones and that really is simple and then take it from here and just lift it up and out of the port so that's it we can put that away that's down and out of the way now I'll pull this to the, move the machine to the front so we can see it a bit better. Now on here, when we connect the bag, we hold down this switch and we lift this up so we can slot it in and it's got to touch this micro switch. And that's a kill switch for the engine. So that needs to be depressed at all times. So when the bag's slotted in, it holds that down and the machine will work. However, when we're using the hose on the rear, the whole flap needs to be down and you need to make sure it clicks and locks in place and it won't move and this switch is pressed down. And it's the same principle as on the front, we've got a flap there that's on a spring so it will just lock in quite easily and the hose fits exactly the same way. 
So the two locating pins there, they lock into the top, slide it round, and there you go, it's all fully done. How great's that? We've turned it into a blower. So you've collected the leaves up from your lawn, your patio, or hard standings, gone round the edge of your borders, but we like to leave a few on the borders. We don't have to collect every leaf up, we like to leave a few on there, move them towards the back, they'll protect your plants over winter from the frost, they'll also decompose, add a bit of nutrients back to the soil, and with this we can blow some air through them, move them to where we want them to be, and also help them decompose a bit quicker by getting the air around. So there you go, all in all, a fantastic bit of kit, and I think well worth the money as an optional extra. So there we have it then, we've attached the optional extra hose as a collector and also as a blower on the Sherpa Wheeled Leaf Vacuum. Great bit of kit, really worth the money I think, looking forward to putting this one to the test. If you've enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, we've got loads of content for you to look at, if you have anything nice to say or any questions or queries just pop it in the comment section below. I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.